Nice spot, man. Real nice. Keep log in the back. Roger that. Safe in the aircraft. Shark two, shark one. One in the troop carrier destroyed. U.S. officials have confirmed that Osama bin Laden's second-in-command Ayman al-Zawahiri was killed by two drone-fired missiles on Sunday. Analysts believe they were a new variation of the Hellfire missile called the R-9X, which have been used in several other U.S. assassination operations across the Middle East. Usually launched from drones or helicopters, the R-9X has a warhead loaded with half a dozen blades that can kill a target instantly without causing an explosion or killing people around them. They were fired from a drone and hit him while he was standing on the balcony, but the precise nature of the missiles meant none of his relatives or any civilians were killed, a senior administration official said. Analyzing pictures of the house in Kabul on social media, experts say they could have been our 9X ones and the drone was likely to be an MQ-1 or a predator. Professor Michael Clark, defense analyst and former director general of RUSI, told Sky News, the R-9X is a pretty new variation of the basic Hellfire missile, which goes back around 40 years and was designed in the 1970s. Hellfire missiles all depend on the warhead you put on them. The idea of the R-9X is that it stabs the person to death with these rotating blades. It sounds awful, but it's a very quick and precise way to kill somebody, so that unless you were standing directly behind the target, it wouldn't kill anybody else. They are often nicknamed ninjas or flying ginsis after the brand of steak knives popularized by adverts in the US in the 1970s and 1980s. The missiles are very small, no more than 4.5 feet long, and weigh a maximum of 50 kilograms. They can be fired up to 7.5 miles and use a combination of laser and MMW, millimeter wave, technology. The MMW radar or fire and forget technology means operatives can select their target using a laser beam and then retreat without having to keep it focused on the target. It identifies the target and finds its own way there, Professor Clark says. It doesn't have to be a straight line and it means you can get out of the way. In terms of guidance, it's the best you can hope to have. Bye. <laughs>